The Ultralight Mark V now includes several new features and improvements to help customize your workflow. In this video, we'll go over how to update your Ultralight Mark V and what to expect in the update. First, connect your Ultralight Mark V to the computer and power it on. Launch QMix 5, go to the Device tab, and click Open next to the QMix Download section. This will take you to our Downloads page. Download the latest Motu Gen 5 installer for either Mac or Windows. Run the installer and restart your computer. Once you're back up, reopen QMix 5. You should now see a message that says, QMix requires a newer firmware version. Please update the firmware on your device. To do this, click the Open button next to the Firmware Updater section. Inside of the smaller Motu Firmware Updater app, press Update Now. This will momentarily reboot your Ultralight Mark V. After it completes, press OK and return to QMix 5. Let's take a look at some of the new features in the update. In the Device tab, you'll now notice some additional options. First up is the Mix USB Channel section. After receiving feedback from our customers, it was apparent that many wanted additional computer USB channels in QMix 5 for more in-depth routing. In the default configuration, you only have the single stereo computer USB channel available in your mixes. By changing this setting to additional, you can now add more computer USB channels to your mixes. This is extremely helpful for users with ultralight Mark V's being used for live playback and monitoring rigs. We've also added a loopback location preference. By default, the loopback channels default to inputs 9 and 10 in your DAW or recording software. However, most basic streaming applications cannot see beyond inputs 1 and 2 from any audio interface, so they can't access the loopback feature. To address this, there's now an option to move the loopback channels to the front of the list. This way, all streaming apps are capable of seeing the loopback inputs. Before you change this preference though, quit your DAW or streaming software first because changing this preference temporarily resets the USB connection to the computer. On the Outputs tab, you'll now notice a Phones Source section where you can quickly choose the audio source for headphones, whether it be a computer USB channel or a monitor mix output. Similarly, we've moved the Loopback Source section next to the Phones Source section with the same options. It's also worth noting that you can now choose the dry or wet reverb signal as the phone's or loopback source. For loopback, use the wet reverb source when you want to apply reverb to the loopback signal you are feeding into your streaming software. The dry reverb source setting lets you use the reverb bus as a dedicated loopback mix without reverb. If you want to include reverb, use the wet reverb source. Below that, you'll also notice that we've added the mix names next to their corresponding physical outputs. This way, if you custom name your mix, you can still reference the physical output the mix is assigned to on the Ultralight Mark V. We've added physical input labels to the Inputs tab as well.
Lastly, in each one of your mixes, you can now enjoy features like makeup gain in the compressors, a defaults button added to the reverb, and an EQ added to the reverb bus for really dialing in the wet reverb sound. All of these features and more are now available on your Ultralight Mark V. For more information, please check out the Ultralight Mark V manual or the QMix 5 intro video, which are both linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.